Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea in the US Campaign episode number 22. So, this, this unoccupied, supposedly unoccupied area of the Pacific Ocean to our northeast, this is what worries me most, and so I, I went about my air traffic control routines. We launched a bunch of aircraft and they're all headed over to this area. I'm a little bit nervous, I mean, I don't know if we might have an enemy carrier. The enemy carrier could actually be just more directly north of Solomon, but I'm more worried about a flank than surprising me somehow over here. And honestly, that wouldn't be a bad place for a carrier to operate way out in the Pacific Ocean, especially if you think about it from like a map. This is a gamey way of thinking about it. From a gameplay standpoint, uh, carriers need room to run. This is a huge, I mean, they have just so much room to maneuver around here to continue to retreat while you pursue. Uh, the only reason I don't think it's true is because it's just it would be too intelligent of the AI. <laughs> it's just be too intelligent for them to know they don't want to put their back against a wall. Um, anyway, uh, so we're moving on. Enterprise is big E's moving back into the area. Ship turn. Okay, so Triton has now gotten into gotten herself in touch with the heavy cruisers. A little bit unfortunate. Or will we drag in the Dauntlesses? No, damn it. Okay, well, you know, one could have hoped. So those Dauntlesses just need to turn around and launch right away. Now, as for you, you, my friend, we have big plans for you. Okay, it's basically the same as before. Um, how are we going to handle this? So let me head first pretty quickly as well, since we don't know how much time. I'm going to move away from these guys. Something probably like this on the minimap, maybe a 60 degree angle away for as long as I can. And then I'm only going to turn and launch when I absolutely have to. So we should be a good distance away. I mean, this looks pretty far. I'm guessing three nautical miles or so. Yeah, not, not quite, two and a half, but I ought to do my identifications too. Now, she looks like she's been hit. Have these, have I done, well, it looks like I've done something to these ships, but... So, the Miyoko? No, nothing has happened to these ships. These should all be brand new, and I mean, by that I mean, <laughs> you know, in the theater, <laughs> they're... I haven't seen them yet, but they're not exactly brand new. Uh, as far as I remember, we have... Did I even identify these yet? So it's definitely not a Miyoko. Takao? Yeah, okay, it's a Takao. Uh, target, Takao. Switch over to you, are maybe the Miyoko I just talked about? Okay, well, we have great options here. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, Titan, what are you doing? Did I not? I, I'm I bungled this one. This is on me. What are you doing? You're doing. You're listening to orders, which is unfortunate for you because I made some mistakes. Yeah, we need you to turn really hard to port now after that kerfuffle. Anyway, she's still maintaining around six knots of speed. She's moving away, which is what I want. Um, once we get some identification on these vessels. I mean, some uh, solution on these vessels. Uh, let us continue to identify, though. Why not? Just to know what we're dealing with here. Okay, what do we have? We have... Yeah, it's one of these, and I'll keep identifying them as Nagara's until we sink Nagara herself. Same story with you. You will also be identified as a Nagara. Switching over. Okay, this is two torpedoes. Three. Okay, well, this could be. No, this only has one. Gumo. Is it one of these? Looks like it. The Asashio. We haven't sunk a Yugumo, a Yugumo yet, so... 
character her as that, characterize her as that, or classify her. And what do we have? This looks like a, maybe a Momi? No, it wouldn't be a Momi, a Minikaze? Kamikaze? Okay, it does look like a Kamikaze. Okay, Kamikaze. Steady up. It's not the worst angle. Maybe a little bit more that way. Just a little bit more. You're almost there. And then, yeah, okay, so let me class, classify you. Good. Now we have all of them identified, and I think all of them identified correctly. We are still, at this point, working on the Takao. I'm going to switch this over. So let's do a quick switch. Let's test this. 0%. Stop. 91. Okay, good. So we know now that the solution does not fade very quickly. So we can probably bounce back and forth between these two and ultimately get them up to almost 90% solutions right away. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then my plan is to launch six at one for the other. We don't need any tubes left after this. <laughs> So, use everything we've got, everything we've got. Oh my gosh, we are really right in their line of fire. So, I need to actually move a, maneuver a little bit more away. And maybe, I think we might actually have to take a risk and go up to 8 knots here. If we can, if they can cruise around at 9 knots without us detecting them, then I think, oh, they're actually only going 9 knots though. That's probably due to some kind of damage. Anyways, it's enough that I'm going to worry about going too fast. We'll slow back down to 7 knots. If they're only going 9 knots, we have all the time in the world to react. However, are they turning? They seem to be following me. Am I crazy? No, we're moving out of the line, right? We are not. They're turning. Are they? They're definitely turning. Okay, well, what happens if I go the other way? Do you follow me? I'm 30, 30, 31, 32, okay, they are turning. Good thing I noticed that. So they're slowly spinning in a circle to starboard. Why? I don't know. This will give us a little bit more time to get into position, which is nice. And now I actually want to be identifying the Miyoko second. Okay, let me stop. Go back to the Takao. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to micromanage. We'll turn around and probably prepare to conduct our ship. You know, do our... Shoot our stuff. I think it will turn hard to starboard. I've, this is uh, actually... I've never had to deal with this before. Alright. Stop. What is Miyoko at? She almost... It looks like it's, it's almost the reciprocal. So when you're up to 20... Let's say 30... Are you at 70? Yeah, okay, so we can't do it. We can't do what I wanted to do. It looks like by the time the solutions appears to degrade at the exact same rate that it improves. Which means we just need to focus on the Takao, launch at her, and then we can uh, launch the Miyoko second. Now knowing that they are turning like this is gonna complicate the matter significantly. We're just going to have to get close. Which is not what I want. But hey, this is for a heavy cruiser. Triton, she knew what she signed up for. And this might be just... This is a golden opportunity. Not one she wants to like get away from her. I'm happy that we at least turned, though. <laughs> yeah, this is bizarre. Very bizarre. What would a torpedo solution look like right now. I mean, they aren't going to map it out for me, unfortunately, but this is probably about where we want to do it. Okay. We'll have to increase the spread a little bit. Now, if she's turning, she's just going so slow at 8 knots that I think it won't matter too much. 
I, I think the turn won't matter too much. We'll close a little bit, maybe. Okay, this seems about right. Whew. Yeah, this is interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Start slowing down. We can we can afford to increase the the spread a little bit considering we're firing six torpedoes. So this is not, as far as I know, the spread per torpedo. It's the total spread from the leftmost to the rightmost. So the fact that we're cramming in four torpedoes between those two means that you know this shouldn't be as big of a deal. A little bit closer. Okay, here we go. So five degree spread. Thirty-knot torpedo is going to take is going to cover this ground very quickly. I'm trying to get closer just so we avoid missing too much. Okay, let's let's go with it. Torpedoes away. Yeah, they're they're pretty close. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get the other launch off in time, but the idea here is to quickly fire four rears. Five degree spread, I guess, as well. Did I, did I like, I don't know. We would have to do it by now, I think, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to let the Miyoko go. Looking really good though. <laughs> yeah, just there's been too long. It's been too long. I think it's been too long to try to get another launch off. Solution is okay. Well, we're not going to get another chance. Whoops. And then we can do all the kind of crazy dives and stuff that we want. Please don't hit her. Oh god. Please don't hit her. Oh my lord, they're gonna hit. Well, this at least looks good. Come on, speed up, you stupid cow, speed up! Damn it, anyhow, speed up! Come on, slow down, torpedo! Come on! Oh, it was a dud anyway! A hit? It missed. That one missed! Oh no! Okay, well, I wish I had increased the spread. I think it was still the right thing to do, to do as we had done. Drop ourselves down to maybe 200. 
Maybe if she turns, would you, like, great... Why is she... Oh, right, I hit her, of course. You know what, these torpedoes may miss their original target and hit... No, she's, like, dead in the water, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, brother. Well, they each took one. If I can, if at all possible, I would like to come back and take another shot at these guys. It does appear that one of them knows where my presence is, so let's start maneuvering. Did I already rig for silent? I did. Good. In the meantime, did we happen to load any torpedoes? No. Quite a while before they're ready as well. Okay, that's a good angle. Straighten up, straighten up. No layer. Yeah, we actually, it's more important, I think, to go fast, because she's going really fast, I think. It's really more important for us to go fast, and then just quickly, at the very end, uh, we need to make sure that we cut speed when she gets super close. That's my new thought process on this. State was four, so it's pretty quiet, unfortunately. I would love to see them drop depth charges in the water when they didn't know exactly where you were. Like, it looks like we're getting away. Looks can definitely be deceiving. If she's dead in the water, like as soon as we can lose this destroyer, my plan is she's going really fast. Yeah, there's no way she's gonna be able to hear anything going that fast. I know, I've been her in that situation. Still makes me nervous to go too quickly myself though. Let's go back to five knots maybe. Now I, I'm actually more worried about actives than passives though. So continue. We're, our profile is very narrow for, pa for actives. Okay, she's starting her turn. And she overshot. Good. I think we're gonna be okay. Whoo! Unfortunately, unlike in Silent Hunter 3 and all these other games, which are really good, by the way, just fantastic about the tension and all that. And this, once you're discovered, you're dead. And that's, I mean, it's so completely false to reality, unfortunately, but it does make it very tense that you just make sure you don't get discovered. Um, so we can kind of, well, I wonder if, okay, so we're in her baffles. Strike from ultra quiet, just for a moment here. Dude, get to start reloading a little bit. Okay, go back to ultra quiet. <laughs> Uh, how much time do we need in these tubes? 60 seconds. 160. Has that actually gone down? 255. Well, I guess it must have. All 
All right, well, I think at this point, I just want to put a pause in the video while we continue to creep away. It should be okay. I think that they just go in a circle here. And then we can try hunting again after this. We put a one torpedo in each. So if we manage to reload and then on top of this, put some extra torpedoes into her, that would be fantastic. Okay, so that's what the goal is now. Okay, well, it has been very tense, but here we are. We are coming back to the surface. And I'm going to try to launch two torpedoes, which I have managed in the massive amount of time which has passed. Probably like maybe 10 minutes in game. Uh, you can see that the, <laughs> some of the vessels have gotten a bit of far away from us. Thankfully, they dragged one of the destroyers with her. But Miyoko is definitely gone. Out of contention. However, one still remains dead in the water. I think that she really is just waiting for us. She's waiting for us. So we will not keep her waiting any longer. We're making our way back up to periscope depth. And we have actually reloaded um, this pretty close to this one. We've reloaded two torpedoes. One in the rear. I'm going to launch all of them. I do want to come at it. I want to actually make my heading towards her. But just very slowly. Because I, um, I don't want to get closer. I just don't want the torpedoes to move much, so I can use a, a manual launch easily. What is the distance away? I, like it would be interesting, certainly, if I could manually launch at the kamikaze and hit her. She is. Why is auto flak fire? What? Get the get this the hell off my screen. Okay, it worked. I don't know what that is, but... Yeah, okay, she's over a mile away. That's that's a little bit better. Well, here we go. Let's try to make this quick. Let's go. Here we are. Is she coming towards us? Please tell me you're turning. You're not turning. Oh god. We are gonna make this very quick. See how that goes. It's possible she's just trying to return to formation. It's going 19 knots, so we're gonna kick it up to eight knots. See if we can get out of her line of formation or her line of attack very quickly. I think it's just unlucky and that she's just needs to cross our path. Oh boy. Well, those look good. If we manage to make it. We are really pushing it. <laughs> I mean, she's going 19 knots. This is what I'm relying on. The fact that we should be pretty much... Uh, inaudible to her. Oh god, is she turning? Nope, just an optical illusion. Keep pushing, Triton. Get out of her cone. How are those torpedoes doing? They look good. <laughs> oh god. Can you imagine the Japanese escorts? They're gonna be so pissed. 
If I was a real man, I would go to the surface, which I'm going to do, and pop one at the, Yama, uh, the Kamikaze here. We should have... Oh, I'm... Rick for silent. We should have enough torpedoes available to do this. Yugumo and Miyoko are beaching themselves out of desperation. I probably will use my Python program here to very quickly get essentially a, a good solution. Because, yeah, we're not going to have much time to react. Is this just is this just foolish? Is this completely foolish? 18, speed of 18. We're so, she's really close to us. She might even get us like in a turn. Well, that's a good angle. It's a good escape angle. Okay, there's the kamikaze. All right, let me start taking some angles here. And let me, I'm going to try to do a manual launch. Well, it took me a hot minute there. Boy, took me a little bit of math, but I need to launch at a 17 degree angle off of my starboard, I mean off my stern, um, towards him. So that means I need to launch at 180 minus 221, 41 minus 17 is 24 degree. I need to launch at uh, absolute 24. We need to pick up our rears. We have two tubes ready! Okay, so let's do a two degree spread. Maybe even a three degree spread. We're pretty darn close. Fire. So 24. Just make sure I get this right. Does it make sense? It seems like it's. Okay, just gonna do it though. Uh, what's the worst that can happen, right? Too deep! Oh no! God, no! Wait, wait, are we coming up? Oh, we're, we're coming up, though. Alright. I'm supposed to do it when she's at 1200, so this is already going to be a, a tough thing. But as soon as we get a chance, come on! I don't know if it'll make any difference. I'm probably going to end up firing manual. No. Seems like it's right on top of her. Can we do it? Did we launch? Holy cow, we launched! No, we didn't. Are we launching or not? No, not my four torpedoes, damn it! Ah! <laughs> yeah! Okay, 1100. Do I have to recalculate? I mean, we're so damn close. We almost. <laughs> Let's just aim by sight. Uh, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna go with something like this. I mean, she's gonna just. Just launch something quickly. Okay, I think she might have seen us too, or she's continuing her, oh boy, let's find out. Well, that turn is going to make it very difficult to hit her. That was really unfortunate timing. <laughs> All that worked for nothing. Is this all for nothing? I think she's got us. But not without a fight. Still going 18 knots, so we're going to still kick it up. I'm going to turn, try to get myself perpendicular to her direction of travel. Need to dive quickly. 
This might even be an opportunity. I don't know. Uh, this is tough. I'm pretty sure we're going to be detected here. Let's kick it up to seven. I'm just, I'm convinced actives are the way you die here. So. Stuck by dud. Got one hit. Thank God. She's sinking. Back up. <laughs> Death charges are going in the water. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get out of her way in time. Oh dear. Turn us. Don't be deep. Please don't be deep. Once, please don't sink on one freaking shell. Ah, uh, one hit. We had one close shave. Uh, this is gonna be so annoying. <sighs> well, we know what time it is. Time to man the deck gun. I just refuse to believe. Prepare to flood ballast. Or blow ballast, I should say. Come on, come on. It's just one compartment. Alright, emergency blow. Here we go. Now, the other ships are so far away that we might get away with this. Oh boy. You better get up to the surface very quickly. <laughs> These depth charges don't hit you. It's like she knows where we are, but she can't get over us fast enough. Come on, get to the surface. Get to the surface. We do not want to be depth charged again. And then we will immediately man battle stations because that's just the way it goes. All right. Target her, HE, and fire. Got her. Swing, maybe we can get some torpedoes out. No! Wait a second. 
It would be nonsense. It would be complete nut garbage. But what if? Where are those torpedoes? Huh. Did we launch? Four. Did we did we get it? Did we launch? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm always happier, I just feel better as a person, I don't know why, this is weird, but I always feel better as a person when we're sinking from the surface and not being crushed, because then I have this notion that people are able to get off the submarine. I'm not sure what happened with the launching of the torpedo there. I, I was hitting fire on the... I was hitting fire. I wasn't doing anything, maybe I... did I... was it waiting for me to, to select exactly one? Well, let's just manually fire. Too deep. Okay. Well, the, you know, it was worth it. Worth a try. Is she doing depth charges again? No. Still pinging away. Well, like I said, I feel better about it. I, I would just expect that the Triton will, in a way, the crew will survive. Well, some of them, I, I would hope. Okay, well, that had me on pins and needles. Holy cow, that was, that was rough. We sank the Takao and we gave we dealt minor damage to the Miyoko. We also dealt minor to moderate damage to the Kamikaze. Unfortunately, the Triton was sunk, and well, we got 14 command points out of it. A dangerous little game. I yeah. So we could have survived if we hadn't decided to come back and launch, knowing that we're this close to the enemy. I mean, to our our friendly ships. I think that this is okay to have done. And I don't think that we're going to really be able to do much more in this episode. Un most unfortunate, really, that the Dauntlesses did not get involved in that battle. That would have been really something. So now we actually have to start moving away since... Yeah, things have changed, haven't they? We need to make sure the carriers are not attacked. They're still up here, but... Port Moresby can launch some aircraft. I'm pretty sure we're just going to do a little bit of adjustments here. Yeah, something like that. That's, that's whatever you're doing is fine. Uh, maybe spotted near Kingfish. Okay, we got her back. We're about to get... So if I think if I just do a quick launch... Oh, I don't have any Avengers left. However... No, they're too far away. Well, we found her. That was the. That is definitely the key. So I did have these float planes going out to try to detect what I thought might be an enemy carrier. Uh, yeah, and I really ought to, I really do need to pause here. I, okay, we'll, we'll call this video to a close here. Because I need to launch another wave of search aircraft from, um, I think, the Portland. Uh, all of these ships, I believe, have aircraft. Ah, God, that's not what I wanted. Every time. It gets me every time. It would be great if they could add a little pop-up, are you sure? But it doesn't take that long to get back out. Just... I get this really nervous feeling that something goes wrong on the strategic map anytime you do that. Yeah, so for now, we'll call this video to a close. Um, I want to continue to search in the north, see if there might be a carrier there. I don't think so. If I was a betting man, I would bet no. But because we, I mean, the um, float planes we've seen could come from the submarine over here, could come from the um, cruiser group that we were already engaging with our submarine. Uh, nobly fought Triton, but unfortunately, we weren't able to get you to safety. Uh, a, a torpedo into two enemy cruisers is, and one of them sinking, is really a very valiant sacrifice. And uh, yeah, otherwise we'll catch you back for the next episode. It probably is going to end up being in two days. We'll switch, might be switching to that format. So until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.